Hello friends, welcome to Game Shastra. In today's video, we are going to discuss prominent scientists from the chapter Halogen Derivatives of Alkanes and Arenes. Now, you must be thinking why I have decided to cover up this part in my video. The reason is pretty simple. I feel that students don't pay attention to this part in their textbook. When you start reading your chapter, you directly jump onto the introduction. You skip the blue part which is given in your textbook. That is all about a prominent scientist. Now, there is a reason why the prominent scientist part or the session has been introduced in, in your textbook. Because they are having a major contribution into the understanding of developmental chemistry. And that is the reason that they are having a, some huge contribution. They have done a lot of work in chemistry and that is the reason they have been introduced in your syllabus or it is given in your textbook. So, I feel that we should discuss about what the work they have done, why they are given or what is their major contribution in your chapter and you f we should appreciate their efforts the reason being that helps you to connect very well with the chapter abhi tum logo pata hai carbon is tetrahedral but that is a something ki yaar pehle kisi ko pata nahi tha so hell lot of work has been gone into it already and that's the reason that you can very confidently say carbon is tetrahedral it is having sp3 hybridization but someone has done a, done a lot of work on that so that's the reason i think that we should appreciate their efforts and we are going to just cover up the four scientists which is given in your textbook so let's begin the first scientist is a Victor Grignard. Basic information I am going to cover up. He was born on 6 May 1871 and left us on 13 December 1935 at the age of 64. He won Nobel Prize and he was a French chemist in the year 1912. For the discovery of Grignard reagent, Victor Grignard was given Nobel Prize. He studied at the University of Lyon and was at the professor at the University of Nancy. If you talk about a major contribution, the most valuable contribution was Grignard reaction. Now, what is exactly is a Grignard reaction? It is a method for synthesizing carbon-carbon bond using magnesium to couple ketones and alkyl halides. So, if you talk about a carbon-carbon bond formation chemistry, it is something which is very important in exploring all the molecules that we are synthesizing right now. So, in your chapter, you are going to study this reaction which is going to be RMGX. You are going to remember it in that way which is going to be alkyl, magnesium and halide part which is a Grignard reagent and that will lead to the Grignard reaction. Next one is a Jacobus Wentoff. Wentoff has done a lot of work in chemistry, in physical as well as in organic chemistry. You must have heard, you heard of Wentoff factor. If you haven't heard about it, you are going to hear, hear about Wentoff factor in your chapter colligative properties, colligative properties, uh, solutions and colligative properties of your physical chemistry. Wentoff born on 13th August 1852, he was with us till 1st March of 1911 and he passed away at the age of 58. He was a first Nobel Prize winning chemist. He received Nobel Prize in the year 1901. I don't, I will never forget that Wentoff was the first one to receive the Nobel Prize in the year 1901 when the Nobel Prize has started. Now the reason why Nobel Prize has been given to Wandoff was for the law of chemical dynamics and osmotic pressure in solutions. So you are going to study this reverse osmosis concept you are going to study in your physical chemistry, your osmotic pressure you are going to study in solutions and colligative properties. He was a, also a founder of stereochemistry. Stereochemistry is the one thing that I love the most in chemistry because it is a branch you can say or it is a part of chemistry which tells you about the 3D orientation of molecule, how your molecule is going to look in a the uh, three-dimensional space the major contribution if we'll talk about his work on mass action was very much appreciated optical activity which tells which again helps you in understanding the stereochemistry of the molecule reaction rates which is which is going to be there in chemical kinetics your phase rule then transition point of dilute solutions and applications of thermodynamics went of formulated theory of tetrahedral carbon atom and laid the foundation of stereochemistry so right now we say that carbon atom is tetrahedral but somebody has done a hell lot of work to get to know that your carbon is having tetrahedral geometry now the fellow who did work on to find out what is the geometry of carbon is a went off so we should appreciate his efforts next one is a sandmeyer sandmeyer born on 15 september 1854 he died on 9th april 1922 at the age of 67 he was a swiss organic chemist and he was a professor at the university of gottingen his most valuable contribution was a Sandmeyer reaction, which is a named reaction in chemistry. There are many more named reactions in chemistry which are going to be very important because uh, in named reactions, you will have a question directly. Write down this named reaction. Nobody is going to give you any hint. In other reactions, you will have a reactant. If you have a reactant, you have to find out product 
or product is given, you have to find out the reactant. But in name reactions, it is always given directly as a name. That what is the alkyl condensation? What is the write down a reaction of Sandmeier? Okay. So remember this that the Sandmeier is having a very very well known famous reaction or by his name, and that is Sandmeier reaction. His work on decomposition of aryl diazonium chloride to chloroorange was well appreciated. Now it is not necessary that uh, every scientist should be Nobel Prize then and then only their work is very important. His work on triphenyl methane dyes was very well appreciated and he invented a new synthesis for synth, uh, for indigo synthesis. So indigo is a blue dye that you use, uh, that we still use in textiles to color the denim blue color. Next one is a Paul Muller. Paul Muller was born on 12 January 1899. He died on 12 October 1965 when he was at the age of 66. He got Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in the year 1948. Now the reason why he was given Nobel Prize was to explore the insect insecticidal application of DDT. Now the very best part about Paul Muller was uh, he was a chemist but still he, give, he was given a Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine because of the valuable or the importance of DDT at that time. Now the reason being it was the DDT was used it was somewhere around the World War 1 or 2 so it was used to kill mosquitoes, flea, sand fly which causes the plague, typhus and tropical diseases. So this was all about the prominent scientists. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe to Kim Shasta. This is the thing that I keep on telling you. But I have decided one more thing henceforth that I am going to give you one, uh, one inspirational or motivational quote at the end of my each and every video. Why I am going to do this because students I feel that teacher is not the one who is going to teach you the concepts which are already given in your textbook. No. He's not a, he or she is not going to be the great teacher. I got uh, Luckily, I got very nice switch in my life. That's why I'm giving you this advice or this, this is a thing that I'm going to tell you. That this is also the one which who gives you uh, who gives you a path, who shows you the path for this successful life. And now that success depends on many things. It it, it depends on it, all the all different things you can talk about. It is a financial success or any, any, any damn thing. But teacher is the one who generates spark in you. Yeah. So I feel that it is very important to get some inspirational quotes. So that's the reason I've decided that I'll be giving you a quote at the end of each video, which will help you or which will motivate you for your further study. The quote for today is life is not about waiting for the storm to pass out, but it is to learn to dance in the rain. Thanks for watching friends. Do subscribe to Kim Shastra and the both log jo website pe mujhe questions dal rahe. They are asking me for the very important concepts. Don't get disheartened. Ki don't feel that I am cover nahi kar raho. Surely, in a very small amount of time, I will make videos on all the things that you have said and I will give you the best explanation possible. Okay friends, thanks. Bye.